G'day Nigel from Gill Music. So today I want to give you a bit of an introduction into playing the blues on the alto saxophone. We're going to look at the 12 bar blues format and this is really just an introduction to give you some tools uh, so you can get started improvising on the 12 bar blues and having some fun with it. Okay so 12 bar blues, what is it first of all? Well you've all heard the expression probably of a 12 bar blues and uh, what it is is a standard musical format where it's made of 12 bars and uh, it's, very, it's a really common format because it's very, very simple. It only uses three chords. So depending on what key you're in, it uses the first chord, the fourth chord, and the fifth chord. Only those three chords. Now, in this lesson, we're going to look at uh, a blues, a 12 bar blues in the key of D for the alto saxophone. So the first chord is D. So the fourth chord, if you go up the D major scale, D, E, F sharp, G. So G is the fourth chord. And a is the fifth chord, okay? One, two, three, four, five, D, E, F sharp, G, A. So D, G, and A. Those are the three chords that we're gonna use in today's lesson, and those are the three chords used in 12 bar blues. So uh, we're gonna break this down. First of all, look at each chord one by one, and I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how you can uh, improvise over it. Now, a lot of people think about using the blue scale over the blues, and that's a great way to go, but in this lesson today, I'm not going to talk about blue scales. I'm going to talk about it in a slightly different way. We'll get to blue scales in another, in another lesson. But today, I want to show you um, some other notes that I think are a really good starting point for learning the blues. First of all, let's look at, look at, look at the very first chord, so the D chord. Now, in the blues today, every chord is what we call a seven chord. And that means, basically, when the piano player plays the chord, he's going to play the first note. Like in the, the chords can be made of four notes, okay? So it's going to have the first note, which is in for a D7 chord, it's going to be D. It's going to have the third note, uh, and it's going to have the fifth note, and it's going to have the seventh note. So just like we're working out chords for the form, if we look at an individual chord, we can work out which notes are in it by going up the scale from the first note. Okay, so D7 chord, first note is D, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. Same thing again. First note is D, E, F sharp is the third note, for um, G, A is the fifth note, and then B, C is the seventh note. So we've got a chord made up of D, F sharp, A, and C natural. That's a D7 chord. There's, we can spend a lot more time talking about the theory of it, but for now, if you just accept that that's a D7 chord and those are the four notes in it, D, F sharp, G, and uh, D, F sharp, A, and C. So if you play up those notes, in, like a piano player can obviously play all of them at the same time, but on the saxophone we play one note at a time, so if we play them one after the other, they sound like this. <laughs> F sharp, A, C, and then D at the top. Okay, so the very first fundamental step toward improvising would be to use those notes over the bars that's got the D7 chord in it. Because the piano player is playing those notes, the bass player is probably playing the D, the guitar player is going to be playing those notes, so any of those notes that you use will definitely work 100%. Okay, so that's the very first uh, basic fundamental step with learning about which notes to use when improvising. And those are called the chord tones. So for D7, D, F sharp, A and C. Now, if we look at the notes in between those chord tones, we can make a scale up. And that, that's the scale that I want to show you today. Now, we know about major scales. You've probably learned about minor scales as well. Um, this is kind of a variation of a major scale. Um, it's called a Mixolydian mode, but it's, the name of it isn't that important. I'd, ra I'd rather you think about it as being the joining notes in between the chord tones. Okay, so I've written out the music for you, but I'll show you the notes. We know that the chord tones are D, F sharp, A and C. But if we join the notes in between there, we've got D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and C natural. And you can put a D on the top. So it's kind of like a D major scale, but instead of a C sharp, we've got a C natural. Why? Because the C natural is the seven in the D7 chord. Don't have to think too much about it, just accept that that's the way it is. So let's play up that scale, the Mixolydian D7. It sounds like this. Okay. 
Now, the cool thing about that scale is any of those notes over a D7 chord will work. Definitely, 100%, don't need to think about it anymore. If you play any of those notes over a bar with a D7 chord, they will work, okay? Hooray, that's fantastic. That means you can use those notes when you're improvising and it's definitely gonna work. Now you just gotta be creative with them, right? Okay, so uh, with the lesson, there's a bunch of uh, backing tracks you can download today. And uh, one of them is a D7 shuffle groove. It's kind of the D7 part of the whole 12 bar that just goes around and around. It's a four bar phrase that repeats six times. So I'm gonna play that for you now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start really, really simple. And uh, I'm just gonna use the chord tones first of all, the D, F sharp, A and C. And then I'm gonna muck around playing some melodies with, the, with those chord tones, just those chord tones. And then I'm gonna ex uh, expand out and use all the notes from that Mixolydian G, okay? So have a listen to the way I'm playing it. See how it starts really simple. You can make it sound good just by keeping things really simple and then see how it develops and then have a bash at doing it yourself. Here we go. Okay, so you can see how you can start with a simple idea and then you can develop into something much more complicated, but it still uses all of those same notes. Let's look at the second chord. So the second chord in a 12 bar blues, in a D blues, is a G7 chord. So same thing, the chord tones for G7, the first, third, fifth and seventh notes of, uh, of G, so those are the notes G, B, D and F natural, okay? It's F sharp in the key signature, but we're going to use an F natural. So let's play those. And if we join up all the notes in between the chord tones, we get the G mixolydian, which are these notes. G, A, B, C, D, E, F natural, G. probably notice that that's the same as the C major scale but starting on G. That's something to think about. G, A, B, C, D, E, F natural and G. It's really dead easy, easiest scale in the world. So let's do the same thing now. We're going to look at the G uh, shuffle blues, the G7 shuffle blues track and I'm going to start by using the chord tones and then I'm going to muck around with that and maybe go on to using all of the Mixolydian G and make up some melodies and uh, let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so you can see how with the same thing, you stick with those notes, stick with the G7 chord notes and the Mixolydian scale, and every single one works. And you can just play around with it and make it as interesting as you want with uh, experimenting with rhythms and uh, different melody ideas. Okay, so we've done the D7, we've done the G7, there's only one chord left, and that's the A7 in this 12 bar blues. So the chord tones for that one, and an A7 are A, C sharp, E, and G. And 
again, if we join the notes in between the chord tones to make the mixolydian scale up, we get these notes, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G natural and A. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a go at playing through this one. Uh, I'll, I'll play along with the backing track for the A7 shuffle. Same thing, I'll start with the chord tones, I'll move on to the scale. Here we go. So you can see how those notes work, and if you if you remember the chord tones and then the scale, the scale tones that work uh, in between or around that chord, uh, those chord tones, then you've got a fantastic number of notes that will all work. Every single one of those notes will work. So you can improvise using those notes, and it will sound great. Now, obviously, there's there's tons to learn about improvising, uh, and uh, you know we'll talk in future lessons about using rhythm and using uh, different melody ideas and different devices that you can use to, to help you to create your own melodies. But for now, the most important thing is to really be conscious of which notes work over which chords and then to start to experiment, starting really, really slowly first of all, with making up your own melodies using those notes and being strict to just stick to those notes. Uh, we're going to finish this lesson here, and in the next lesson, we're actually going to run through the 12 bar blues all together. So, putting those three chords that we've learned in this lesson um, together into the one form, and we're also going to turn, talk about some extra notes that you can use to help spice up your melodies a little bit, and some ways that you can approach your improvising to make it a bit more fun. So, have some fun working through these shuffle um, backing tracks that I've made for you, and see what you can come up with. I'd love to hear how you're getting on with it, actually. All right, practice hard. See you next time.